and welcome to my video on about, you know, do various gas masks or respirators work with the British Mark 7 helmet? So I took the cover off the Mark 7 helmet, so you can see it without the cover on, just for those of you wondering about its shape and size. And um, I'm also in front of the red curtains today, because a few people said they like that as a bland background. And the interesting note about that is I've had loads of people going to me, Oh, you should do better video editing so there's stuff going on in the background because it's boring just looking at a wall with posters on it. But evidently lots of people just prefer the boring background because they're not the sub the you know, the background isn't the subject of the video, so there you go. Anyway, uh, I'll undo the neck strap because the uh, uncomfortable thing about this helmet is the neck strap is quite comfortable. But if you have the neck strap done up with a gas mask on, the strap being a lot tighter digs into your Adam's apple and makes it far less comfortable. So unless I find one where it's specifically, you know, comfortable to wear with the strap done up, I'll just have them undone for all of the masks on this video. So there you go, let me just tie that out of the way like that. So in terms of how well this sit on your head, obviously without the strap on, um, <laughs> strap on, lol. Uh, it wouldn't sit, you know, too tight to your head, so that's something to bear in mind, is that if you're jumping about, it might fly off. Now, what you could do, because I've had several ex-soldiers tell me that this is a good idea, is if you ever need to use a helmet with a gas mask in an emergency, get a big bit of elastic and put it between the two sort of joint points. Uh, then you can stretch that over the mask, and it means you can keep the helmet on, but it'd be a lot more comfortable um, than doing it with, you know, the strap on the mask. So, there you go. As you can see, the Mark 7 helmet with the Israeli M15 is pretty much fine, but it's uncomfortable to have the strap done up on it. But in terms of giving you ballistic protection, yeah, this sits low enough on the head that, you know, it does its job of being a helmet, and your ears and everything else are still free. So, there we go. The Mark 7 helmet works with the Israeli M15. Okay, and now for one of my least favourite masks ever, it's the Scott GSR. Uh, another feature did actually break on this mask, the drinking tube's broken on the inside now, and I'm not bothering to order a replacement one, so no more drinking tube videos at all of this mask, I'm sorry. So, let's now see if I can get it to work with the GSR. And I'll try and do the strap up on this one, because, um, you know, this mask, helmet's obviously designed to be worn with this mask, in theory, because they're two serving bits of equipment in the British Army at the moment. I must say that the actual helmet does seem to look quite good with this mask. Um, however, I think there's still going to be the issue with the strap. That it's going to be horribly uncomfortable to try and do it up. Yeah, again, I'm not going to do the strap up just simply due to the fact that, you know, that's not going to be comfortable. But as you can see, um, that would kind of go on loosely. I wish they actually just had another button there, so you could just loosely button the strap like that with stuff to stop the strap flying off, but there you go. So, yeah, with the GSR, that actually does look fairly good, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to, this is one thing I can't fault the GSR on, although you can't do the strap up with the GSR and, um the Mark 7 like you can't with most masks, at least the mask, you know, makes a good sit with the mark, uh, how it makes a good sit with the mask, as you can see, when you'd have that down, that's very close to the line of the, um, field of view for the sort of panoramic lens, so you can actually see fairly well, so that's actually a good feature, so, you know, that's good, can't fault it on that at all, as much as I don't like the GSR, at least it seems to make quite a good fit with a Mark 7 helmet, so, you know, if you're planning on using it again, don't shake your head about too much because the helmet might fly off because it's not done up. So again, consider making yourself an emergency respirator strap for the helmet. But at least it works with a respirator. Okay, now for one of my favourite masks ever. It's the Finish M61. I've not got the filter on, but that shouldn't have an effect anyway. But yeah, again, it looks like it would be fine. Obviously, that filter there, if you were using it with the strap, it could get in the way. However, for the most part, it looks like, you know, the helmet at least sits all right with the mask. So, there's that bit. Let's pull that through.
Can I just about get this bit to reach this bit? Not really. Oh wait, can I? I can see why some people like the quick release sort of mech chat straps, not the button up ones. But there we go again. It's all there like that. It digs into your throat so you don't want that done up at all. But yeah, the mask is actually compatible with the helmet. I don't think there's anything blocking it from going down, you know, so again it sits about where it should on the head it's just that the lenses are lower on this mask than they are with the big panoramic lenses but again the helmet would stay on properly it seems so yeah it works okay the polish m15 so not m15 sorry the polish mp5 don't know why i call it the m15 because i was thinking of the israeli m15 let's get this one on with its weird strap system but it's still a fairly comfortable mask. Again, I really don't know who thought it was a good idea to have this hook-on system. There we go. But it was a French design, wasn't it? And that will be why. So, the mask's on, the mask comfortable. Now this is what I'm wondering. Will the NBC hood ridge there cause a problem with the helmet? Let's see. And the answer is sort of yes. <clears throat> you can't get a good... Uh, a helmet won't sit properly with the mask because the ridge of the top of the mask and the strap system stops the uh, thing from going on. So, it's not the worst fit in the world. Um, it's at least going to give a lot of your skull protection. But it's not going to go down as far as it should. Um, which actually obviously means that you're not going to get the full protection uh, the helmet can offer. Again, I'm not actually sure which size <coughs> helmet this one is. I don't think it says on the inside liner. At least there's nowhere obvious where it says it. Because on my Mark 6 it said like MK6, uh, you know, small or whatever. Oh wait, there it is. Let's see if I can read that. This is actually a large. So, because this is a Mark 7 large, uh, I don't think there's any mask that really, if it doesn't fit with this, would fit with the smaller ones, because they're going to be, you know, an even tougher fit, but this is a Mark 7 large, uh, so, yes, unfortunately MP5 doesn't really pass the test of this helmet, simply due to the fact that this top section sticks up too far, blocking the helmet from actually going down on your head. Okay, and the Polish M14, or the Polish version of the SHM41. I'm not actually connecting the hose to anything in the bag, so don't worry about asbestos. Time to test it with the helmet. Now, considering this is a helmet-style mask, I should think it should work absolutely fine with a helmet, actual helmet. Yeah. So let's see. Now, what I'm actually really interested in is will the chin strap do up fine, which I hope it will, but um, we will see. So, of course, my camera battery's nearly run out, because I've said this camera's nearly had it, but I can't really afford another one at the moment because of my car. Um, so, let's see, can I get this done up? Which is easier said than done. Yeah, the strap is done up on this helmet with the mask, and it's not fully done up, but it's done up well enough, so the helmet is not going to shake off. And, yeah, it is pretty good with this new mask, you know. The Soviet helmet masks do work very well with helmets, you can't fault that at all. So I'm going to have to finish the video here because my camera is telling me that the battery, there we go, the battery icon is flashing. But yes, British Mark 7 helmets, this will give you an idea of some of the masks they do and don't work with. Bear in mind, depending on the size of your respirator and the size of your helmet, that might also play a factor.